what's going on my fellow boxing junkies, addicts, and fans, you know who it is, your boy, Big Will Steel, holding it down like only Big Will Steel can, you know what I mean, and I'm here with Sidesteps Boxing Interview Part 3 with renowned trainer and father of Sean Porter, the one and only Mr. Kenny Porter. But Sean Porter, man, he has grown on me leaps and bounds. I was I had to get used to his style. I, I honestly had to get used to his style. But your son so, is so a lot of a, a lot of things that people are watching, they're they brainwashed by what they hear from different um commentators and the things that the commentators are saying, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the fights and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Um, and and so they get locked into, you know, what they're hearing these people saying. But you don't beat Edwin Rodriguez twice when Edwin was the US yeah. champion returning beat him. You don't beat him again when he's the National Golden Glove champion trying to return and be National Golden Glove champion twice. You don't beat him twice like yeah. that. You don't beat Danny Jacobs twice. You don't beat Demetrius Andre. He's the last person to beat Demetrius Andre. You don't beat Alexander Yusik with the gold medalist. You don't beat these guys by luck. Yeah. It yeah. ain't luck, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. You know what I mean? And I can keep running them down the line. Uh, uh, what's the kid's name out of Philly? Jesse Hart. You don't beat that guy by accident. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, totally These are agree. some very talented fighters. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it wasn't an accident. He didn't yeah. beat these guys by accident. He beat these guys because he has ability. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what we're doing is fight specific for the person that we're fighting. Mm -hmm. And this is professional fighting. So, no, we're not necessarily trying to go in there and put a pretty fight on for you or anyone else mm -hmm. because we have an intent of winning a fight. Yeah. And what you don't realize, and I'm not just saying you, yeah, what yeah, people yeah. don't realize is, you know, this is not a sport that people are going in and trying to score points. We're not trying to score no points. We're trying to get the other person out of there or that person trying to hurt us bad enough to get us out of there. Yeah. So when you get to that level, at that level, that you start to really realize that and understand that, especially losing a fight to a guy like Kel Brook, who all he did was hold us all night. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have a scratch on us, but we got held all night. <laughs> yeah. We refused to be, ever be held again. Mm -hmm. So I don't care if people don't like the fact that we're going to come in there and kick your ass and when the referee breaks us apart, we're coming to kick your ass again. When the referee breaks us apart, we're coming to kick you. I don't care. You know what I mean? My kid, you know, like, you know, like the, the last commentary uh, on the last fight, you got a guy like Paulie Naji, Paulie Marlon Naji, saying nasty little things about Sean, using his head and shit like that. Yeah. Sean was cut above the eyes. Who uses their eyes to headbutt somebody? Nobody. So, probably in the situation, if you go back and look at any of the steel shots, the person with their head down was Andre Berto. Berto had the crown of his head down and hit Sean in, the, in his eye with it. Nobody uses their eye to headbutt anybody. Were there any headbutts in the Keith Thurman fight? No, because Keith was moving in a different direction. Were there any headbutts in the Bronner fight? No, Bernard Bronner was moving in a different direction. Malinaji moved in a different direction. Uh, uh, um, uh, the boy out of uh, St. Louis that we won a title for. Him. Oh, the boy out of St. Louis. Um, um, I got you, I got you. I can't, I'm having a brain fart right now. Yeah, yeah, that kid. That kid, <laughs> Devin Alexander. Devin Alexander, He's there you go. There. They're boxing moving in the other direction. Yeah. Berno and Porter are five seven, and they're both come forward fighters. Yes. Okay, but one of them's a flat out dog, and the other one's just looking for a way to get out of the ring. <laughs> and that's just the truth. That's no. not, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel it's, you. It's the truth. Yeah. That came from his camp. His camp said that after the fight. They said, you know, he was trying to get your know, kid disqualified or do anything he could do, put his head down and every damn thing else. But it's a fight. We're not walking around complaining, talking about Berto head brother. All we was going to do was get his ass out of there no matter what. That was it. That was our intent. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, we out jab. Paulie Malinaji, we out jab. Adrian Bronner, we out jab. Uh, Devin Alexander, we out jab. Keith Thurman, mm -hmm. but we can't box. The straightest punch you can throw is a jab, but Sean can't box. But he out jabbed all those guys. He out jabbed Keith like 54 to 25 or some shit like that. Yeah. And that's another, you know, that's another fight you want to revisit? Hell yeah. Absolutely. We, we just won the right. That's why we beat Berlin for the right to fight. 
Yeah. yeah. And you think? I know Sean. I know Sean will take it. Um, Keith, Keith, you think you'll get back in there with, with, with Sean? Keith doesn't want that fight, and that's okay. Yeah. But we gonna do what we gotta do to make that fight happen. Yeah. We gonna beat anybody that's in our way, and right now we've already got this. We already have. If we just sit down and say, you know what, we're not gonna box to keep get back in the goddamn ring. Keith got two decisions to make: either he fights us or he gives us the belt. Yeah. 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 Wow. And I know he's not going to give up the belt. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He's not going to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's hoping that Perdo would have beat us. No, now he's hoping that maybe Tammy takes fight. Danny could be us. No, that's not going to happen either. He, we refuse to let that shit happen. Because we're going to run right through Danny uh, Garcia's ass. We're going to run right through him. We're going to cut through his ass like a knife through, a hot, uh, a hot knife through butt. Kenny, you, you, you're not playing, Kenny. Oh, we run the right thing. We run the right thing. That's yo. Right don't don't let me don't let me have an opportunity this weekend coming up to see Dan Dash in New York. Because if we have an opportunity to see his ass in New York, I'm calling him and his daddy out. Oh my god! I'm calling him and his daddy out. I'm knocking out. I'm knocking out all trainers. Oh man, Kenny, man, oh, it's it's yo, know, it's been truly amazing. I've been in the ring before, you know. I I used to fight professionally. I fought amateur. I've been fighting. I mean, I've been knowing about Sean when he was 165 pounds fighting an amateur, what, what, beating what, everybody. What era did you come to? What, what era did you come to the amateurs? No, no, no. I started late. I just did it because I want to. I just, I had like 20, 25 fights. No, what, 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 what time frame are we talking about where you boxed in the amateurs? Oh, 2000, 2001. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sean, Sean I mean, um, Berto was the man here in Florida. Berto was the man, and okay. then uh, Keith was coming up. I literally sat at a weigh-in. We were waiting to get, I mean, to be checked in by the doctors, and we were sitting right next to each other. I was supposed to spar um, Keith Thurman and everything when I was in the amateurs, and I fought um, Willie, um, Willie um, Monroe. And I fought uh, uh, Silky Wilkie. Sean knocked Willie Monroe out in the amateur. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. W Willie be all over the place, man. He be he, he he's, he's come a long way. He's come a long way. I gotta give him that. He's fighting for the title. I, I respect that. Man, Sean, you know Sean Porter. I mean, we still talk. We like you know um we we talk about Sean Porter because because of his height that you brought up and then fighting at sixty five pounds. The man's like disgustingly strong, Sean Porter, and it's, 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 he's like. Bless the man, and then um, he's come a long way, man. I like Sean Porter a lot, man. I really, really, really do, and I'm not well, just saying you know, that because I'm talking to him. Work, we still got work to do. We're not, we're not done. We got work to do, but you know, ultimate goals for us, goals are uh, Danny Garcia and definitely Keith Thurman, and we don't want to fight him one time. We want to fight him two times, and even that, <laughs> before we fight him, before we fought him, and they made us find a sign of no rematch clause before that fight. Man, it's a good boxing is a cold 24 world. 24 hours man. before that fight, Keith Camp made a kind of no rematch clause. Wow, I didn't even I didn't even know that. You see, those are those are things that you're just like giving me all the information, all the knowledge I need to become a better, better, better person. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I, I think you possibly if you've seen the interview with me, you know I'm gonna speak the truth, and and you if you never heard that before, keep them know it. It's true. They made us sign for no rematch clause, but we weren't going to even get the fighting in New York. When we was in New York, either you sign this or there's no fight. Now, what do you do at that point? Man. What do you do? You there? You trained? You ready to go? You waited a whole damn year for it? What yep. do you say? No, I ain't gonna sign it. Yep. And don't go to TV and 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 disrupt everything in boxing and get blackballed. No, you don't do that. Yeah. No. So no. you have to sign. You don't have a choice. No, you don't have a choice. No, you don't have a choice. So, so when his ass stepped up in the ring, and, and, and when we went to that ring that night, they booed us when we came to the ring. We never been booed before. Yeah. It was a whole a, a whole East Coast uh, a, a fan base for Keith. And then Keith came in the ring and they cheered for him. But then, at the end of the fight, when the fight was over, the whole crowd in unison was saying, and the new, and the new. The whole crowd was chanting that. This was the crowd that booed us. Yep. And now they're saying, and the new. And when they announced Keith as the winner, the crowd booed him. Man. That was his crowd and they booed him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, 
when they asked him on TV would he rematch Sean, he knew he could say yes because he already made a sign a piece of paper that said there wasn't going to be no rematch. Wow. When we just beat Berto, he comes up there and Sean said, the only thing I understand is you saying yes, and he didn't say yes to it. Then he ran off the goddamn cat man, dude, how funny is that? <laughs> and got married, you know, and along, and so conveniently, he got up there and showed him a picture of him having some kind of elbow surgery or something like that, but... Yeah. Uh, let me make sure, go back and look and see which picture that was so we can hit him in that damn thing next time we <laughs> Petty man, it, yo, it's been truly, it's been truly an honor for real, man. I just, I don't know how to say thank you in how many languages and how many ways, man. But we, we, we definitely, we definitely gotta stay in touch, man.